Hello everyone, Death Stimulator here, bringing you some more naval action. Today we've got a standard PvP match, myself and a Trincomaly, joined by a Surprise, facing off against two, Cerber two Surprise and a Cerberus. Now as we get underway here, we're probably just going to go uh, straight in. I'm just going to let my uh, ally know uh, my ideas. Now, we're going to go straight in and just focus on essentially overpowering our opposition. Looks like they're going to come to meet us. Yep, <clears throat> they're turning in line. Ideally, we'll slot between them when they're at a angle to us and get as many shots off against two opposing ships as possible while exposing ourselves to the least amount of damage. We'll be holding our course at kind of a steady, mm, acute angle. Maybe 250 degrees? Basically wherever we uh, get the most speed, which is actually a bit closer to 260. Some, wire, some uh, smoke on the wind there. They've taken a few pot shots at range. Indeed, we might return the gesture. And we are reasonably short. Give it about five, ten more seconds. Might bring us some range. Just short, marginally so. Oh, we'll wait until we've got two shots that we can shoot off. I know I said we'd wait until we had two shots, but I couldn't resist. What I'm hoping is that they will focus myself and not worry too much about my surprise. Based on the positioning of their ships... Oh. Really? Okay. My ally needs me to slow up a little bit, so I will do just that. Well, I certainly uh, overcompensated there. So I don't want to expose myself too, too much uh, to the other ships at this point, seeing as they're no longer approaching me on an angle. So I'm going to turn and just try to pass Baltic Sailor in this manner. I'm hoping to encourage the other ships to kind of turn towards me, like this, and then I can slot in behind their surprise, and then get a shot on the Cerberus as he's trying to approach me. A few decent hits there. All right, we'll get our ranging shot in. A reasonable spread of damage. And now we'll be able to get shots off. Uh, I'm going to shoot at the Cerberus here. Unfortunately... I was just a tad too high. Which is uh, regrettable, to say the least. Alright, we're going to maintain our slow speed and just come round uh, to deal with this surprise. We've taken a bit of a pounding. But nothing too much to worry about. as much of his side as possible. And fire away. He will get to do the same to me. But I'm relying on my uh, level of armor to carry me through. X 
excellent shots by our ally Surprise, and he's avoided taking too many hits, which is quite nice. Now I'm going to up myself to full sail and work on turning around, try and get uh, some shots off, potentially against their Cerberus. I mean, I uh, sorry, not their Cerberus, <laughs> their other Surprise. Their Cerberus is definitely not in range at this time, at least my doubles. see what we can do at this point. I may need to adjust my fire a tad. That's about it. You were doing repairs? What repairs? No, no, no. That is completely unacceptable. So, uh, Baltic Sailor has used at least a repair, if not two, hopefully two. Mm, excellent shots from our surprise. special. I'm going to put my crews on survival uh, for this engagement. Work on uh, spinning my ship out to port so I can get my starboard guns in line with uh, man here. Okay, so man does not want me to get these guns in range of him. I guess that is a uh, reasonable thing. Does mean I'm going to take quite the hit though, which is unfortunate. I will probably establish some repairs at this point. I'm going to move into a position where I can uh, get some shots off against Baltic Sailor. And kind of uh, revenge, I guess, making up for the fact that I couldn't shoot a uh, man. should be able to get a port side broadside off against Baltic Sailor this time. Like as not, we'll take a few ship a uh, few ships, a few shots for our stern, but as long as they don't hit the rudder, I'm not overly perturbed. doing fine against their surprise, I'm not too concerned about him, so I'm not going to start working my way back just yet. Uh, sadly the more maneuverable ships are just running me a bit ragged. We're getting a good number of hits to our uh, stern, which is absolutely destroying our sides. However, Fairly lucky here. I'm gonna hammer away a little bit at him with a few uh, single shots and then fire. 
fire away with the full broadside as he comes in range. sail mode, see if we can get this turn executed in time, which we can't. Or can we? Looks like I overestimated uh, my opponent's turning speed. Well, get my crew back on the pumps. And wait for this hit and then I'll get underway with my next set of repairs. Alright, so two repairs down. I'm going to start working my way back towards my ally in the Constitution. Now, uh, it's a surprise. They're doing fine, but I'd like to engage in an action that will result in the sinking of this enemy ship, as I really can't stand having <laughs> the surprise on my tail. And the Cerberus is out there somewhere. <laughs> my ally seems a little bit uh, concerned, but I am already doing that. Hmm, man seems in fairly good condition. He's had to use at least one repair since I engaged him. like a plan. Rear armor on this ship is uh, quite, quite weak. It is most unfortunate. Now I'm turning against the wind that's going to slow me down a fair whack. Going to battle sails, I'll hopefully just straight up bypass my ally in the surprise. And we should, hopefully, score some hits for our troubles. do anything in the next few seconds. That's what I've done. 
I'm not sure if the wind changed on me or if I just wasn't watching my uh, angle of approach enough. However, I have brought myself to a very inconvenient stop. I may have to leave my ally on their own momentarily. Hopefully, we'll be able to move before this match is over. Well, or uh, slash I'm sunk. I'm just going to pop the crew onto the uh, sail because, quite frankly, we need the speed. We have the need, the need for speed. I'm sorry, that was terrible. I apologise. Couldn't resist. Hmm. One good hit, but uh, probably, hopefully, is not enough to sink us. Though it may very well be. Get some decent shots off, hopefully, before they sink. Oh, that was uh, perhaps it was the worst shooting I've done in a while. Uh, I doubt we'll need more. Their Cerberus is fine for the moment, that's A-OK -okay with me, uh, simply due to the fact that I can outrange, I should be able to outrange the Cerberus. Only thing I'm particularly concerned is if the uh, ship behind me can get in uh, line with me and get some shots off. But I'm hoping to put enough distance between us or they, they'll sink beforehand. Right, now I have to come in and try and get this ship off my ally, the surprise. I don't know how they're doing. I'm trying to see if I can get my, uh, my game to acknowledge uh, their situation. Beside them. Not sure what that's about. Probably just shitty shots on my part. Yep. Oh, 
not gonna be enough. And there we go. <laughs> Jumping onto our allied surprise. We'll see how they fare. Need to work on those waterline shots a bit more, I feel. Hmm, got to say, probably didn't handle myself too, too well there. And uh, extremely good piloting on their parts, uh, at least. Most specifically on the part of, uh, man, I can't remember which one of it was. One of the surprises who just stayed on me pretty much the entire time. Uh, really good positioning. I just could not get at him when he was behind me or get decent shots uh, off on them. So, well done to all. Good work, of course, to the Cerberus, who just kind of sat at the back and took range shots. Uh, they fulfilled their role quite well. Uh, the little chips that uh, helped uh, their allied ships do so much damage, like combined effort. So well done all, this has been Death Stimulator, thanks very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please let us know, and do consider liking, commenting, favouriting or subscribing, as your support does mean the world to me. I'll see you guys next time.